Okay, let's get on B-Day. A lot of this, I <laughs> wasn't feeling. You know, she's got a disc, too, in Spanish. Cute. Um, let's see. Beautiful Liar, it's okay. It's a nice little radio hit. Irreplaceable, it's a good hit. Green Light, I like Green Light. Um, Kitty Cat, my song. Kitty Cat is like hands down one of my favorite Beyonce songs. Kitty Cat and Bow Down are like so just, I just fucking love them. Like I really like those songs from her. Kitty Cat was good. What made Kitty Cat good was she finally got on like a slow down Houston beat and was just like, you know, doing her thing. I think Beyonce sounds good. Her and Megan sound good on like a slower chopped and screwed beat. So I really like when she was, you know, with the iconic bars. Okay. Diamonds on my neck, got diamonds on my records. Like that is iconic. She shit it on y'all with Kitty Cat. Beyonce dog walks y'all hoes. Kitty Cat is my motherfucking song. But a lot of this other mess I'm not here for. I'm so sorry. Like, Freaking Dress was okay. I know y'all probably love that song, but some of this stuff, I don't like some of the instrumentation. Like, this is what I be talking about when I talk about originality. I think in the last video I did about Beyonce, I think I kind of dragged her too much for saying the music isn't good. I just think the music is okay. I think it's just not original. Here's the tea. If Beyonce was writing her music, she wouldn't be so ambiguous about how much she's writing or what the fuck she's writing. Number one, she would have never got exposed for taking or trying to claim Neo's song as her own. Number two, I just wish we got more original composition from her, okay? Because, like, a lot of her music, like, is still good just because it samples, like, already, again, classic music. But it'd just be great to hear her some producers come up with something original. Just me. Because it's like, uh, it's, it's like, to be honest, you're just mixing down, again, already made classics, putting decent vocals on top, and okay lyrics. And, you know, it's like, it's a bunch of okay shit on already, like, good shit, so it's able to, like, slide by as, you know, great shit. And it's like, is 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 well put together stuff but I'm you know that's just me y'all it's well put together but is it again is it original no um are the lyrics really that deep and great yeah if they're somebody else's um let's see what else is on here I just praised kitty cat welcome to Hollywood really didn't like upgrade you good song but if you don't catch that line you take me just to compliment the deal. That's the type of subliminal fucking programming I be telling y'all about with Beyonce's music, okay? This video is no more ambiguity about what I'm talking about. In this video, if the beehive attacks me, whatever. What else is going on? Upgrade You was a good song. Her and, Beyonce, her and Jay-Z did a good thing. It's great instrumentation. It's great production. You can hear, though, let me find who sampled this. You can hear it sampled from somewhere else. Keep it. Betty Wright. <laughs> Girls can do what the guys can do. See what I'm saying? And Betty Wright makes fucking nothing but classic hits. So just saying. I think, and that's, that's why I agree with Prince with him talking about the music industry, I think it's nothing but samples. That's the issue I have with music today. Everybody just sampling, 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 sampling. It's just lame. Like, goddamn, are y'all niggas really musicians or not? Like, musicians make motherfucking music. They don't listen to other people's music and mix it around. That's a motherfucking, you know, you a DJ, nigga. But are you really a musician? I don't know. I don't think so. Flaws and all. I think it was a good song. Decent lyrics to that. I don't know Beyonce's writing credit on it and who else wrote it, but I thought Flaws and All was a decent song. It, of course, doesn't really have that radio mainstream appeal, but, I mean, it's all right. Um, what else does she have on here? Ring the alarm, great song. You know, you really hear the emotion. The beat is good. Resentment, um, you know, good message. Beyonce did a good job singing it. Um, listen for Dream Girls, good song too. Beyonce did a good job singing it. The vocals are there. Deja Vu, great song, great production. Um, Sugar Mama, great song, great production. Freakum dress, not me, but y'all like it. So 
I'm going to write it off as overall good song. You know, people like that. Um, if, I don't recall if, Get Me Body, um, Nice Club Banger, Worldwide Woman, uh, I can't think of how it sounds sonically. I forgot. I haven't listened to it in a long time. So this is just, you know, I honestly think B Day's a great, great album. Great album. To be honest, I think it's a great follow up. It really does beat the sophomore slump. Now that I'm really looking over these songs again, it beats the sophomore slump. A lot of people can't really hang in there by album two. But Beyonce did really good. She did a great job. She did what she was supposed to do. And um, I like a lot of music on there. There's a, you know, I don't, I can't listen to, I don't think there's any Beyonce album I can listen to all the way through, but I usually like at least seven songs. So B-Day and Dangerously in Love, overall great cohesive projects with great sounding music, great vocals, just lacking what I've been saying, which, and I went in what I feel is true originality. But Overall, it sounds great, which is all y'all really care about. That's why y'all let Rihanna slide, because Rihanna doesn't write anything. She doesn't do anything. I don't think Rihanna really has any talent. But y'all like her because the music sounds good. And so you listen to the music. 